Hey everybody, I'm going to try and make this message short and sweet. Um, the Lord gave me some signs, and there's some key things that I can just I can promise you. The Lord's been showing me this for months and months and months, years and years and years, and they're all piling up. And I know that this is a major sign from the Lord. Um, we have now are having two birth pains in a day, so um, that's progressing. And um, like I said, each time you know, solar event, plate shifting, volcano, blackout poisoning there's there's several more things but um the lord has pointed out some animals right and the kickoff event is associated with an elephant okay the, the symbol of the elephant it's also a show associated with the penguin and the lord has been telling me icebreaker for months and i don't know if you guys know about it but there's also an ice um an iceberg that has been um headed toward an island and that that could possibly like take the island out Okay, which could be like the Harbinger icebreaker event. But the Lord keeps telling me icebreaker. So I go and watch Mary Greeley's video about today's earthquake, today's repeat. Um, and this is what I hear. And I'm going to play this for you. I have not gotten her permission, but I'm sure she won't mind. Just like a snippet of this. I'm just showing you all one thing. Right at about 5.36 p.m. Central Daylight Time. There okay, so... I looked at 5.36 p.m. 5.36 means the beginning of a sacrifice, i.e. the first fruits. <laughs> the beginning of a sacrifice, first fruits. Okay. Now, let's let's listen to this. There was a magnitude 7.1 earthquake down by South Shetland Islands, which is down by Antarctica. EMSC says it was a magnitude 7.1, whereas USGS downgraded it to a 6.9. Supposedly five people felt this earthquake. Here's the location of those felt reports. I'm kind of skeptical. Maybe it's monitors that they have there. Um, yeah, there was two responses from this location. I, Yeah, I find it kind of hard to believe, but there is a small island or an ice sheet out here. There you can see it. Maybe someone was out there. I don't know. This very well could be earthquakes caused by volcanism. Volcanoes. Here's all the uh, different reports of different earthquakes since then. And the reason I say volcanism because it's in the area where a chain of islands have developed because of volcano activity. The most recent was on the island of deception. That was in 1970. On the island of deception. Okay. Let's continue on. The heat flux from hydrothermal activity um, has been growing in the last recent years. Sorry, this guys. area is evidently putting out as much heat flux as um, Grimsbakken. The one of the most active volcanoes there on Iceland is putting out. They didn't even know Antarctica had volcanoes underneath the ice sheets until 2013. This is in an area called the Shetland Plate. And let me bring this out. There's a failed rift system off to the uh, east. See that? And we've noticed, or I've noticed, that the failed rift system that we have here in the United States along the... Uh, uh, you guys see the heart? There's a heart right there where the play button is. <clears throat> and I want you to pay attention to the names of the islands. They're very, they're, they're important. Okay, I'm going to play this. Um, Mid-continent divide, the North American Craton. That has become more active. Back on February of 2020, the same area was being rocked by over 30,000 earthquakes. That occurred between August and when this article, oh, I suppose, was put out in February of 2020. You can see it right there. In November of last year, November 6th, there was a magnitude 6.0 that USGS downgraded to a 5.9. Let me close this and I'll show you the location. Sorry about all it's the not far from Penguin Island, and that's another island of volcanic activity. Okay, it's not far from Penguin And then not Island. far from there, there was a magnitude 5.7. Uh, that was, what, October 2nd of 2020. 
this is all within the Bransfield Strait, which is from there, this line, this fault line, going down to here. And you can see we have spreading along this fault line, which extends all the way from up here close to Elephant Island. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys this. It's Penguin Island, Elephant Island, and Deception Island at Antarctica. The Lord told me the icebreaker. We're waiting for the icebreaker and the kickoff event to happen. He had told me that giants were coming when the kingdom came. He said an army of Davids will arise. Okay. And the giants will arise as well. And so will the Nephilim. All right. And, and where are they supposed to be at? How are they going to rise? How are they get, Where are they supposed to be living? Hmm? The rocks within the earth. I'm just saying, you guys, that the Lord's pointing something out here, this area, um, and something with, with something's gonna happen with Antarctica. I don't know exactly um, what's gonna happen, happen, but the Lord has definitely used these things um, as pretty big clues in my other prophecies and stuff. So I know um, He's trying to say more here. And there actually is more connections, but I really just don't have the time to put it all on here right now. Um, but it can expect to so many things, okay? My husband has bought like five or six bottles. Um, each time he bought it and I've had like a vision or something to go along with it every single time. And then every single time it showed the pictures on it would show what was happening in the spirit. And one of them is a penguin and one of them is the kingdom. That's the last one I got was the kingdom. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I feel like that's a warning. Um, you guys were very, very close. I love you all so much. God bless you.